Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're building the Lego Nexo Knights Aaron Stone Destroyer. This is set number 70358, 251 pieces. We have, uh, let's see, a Stone Warrior, Robot Hoodlum, and then Aaron. So it's usually like a, um, like an Aaron bot, or, you know, they have Clay Bot, and I don't know, all the different bots, but they, they call this a Robot Hoodlum for some reason. Not a, I mean, it is a bot, but anyway. I've never watched the cartoon, so maybe it's it's part of the cartoon series. So, let's cut this open and see what we have in here. Okay, we have one instruction book. We have a small sticker sheet with a couple stickers on it. And then numbered bags, bag two, and the bag one. Not bag one, small bag, and the big bag. All right, all set there. So we're gonna build a couple of minifigures. First one is the robot hoodlum. Find all the small little parts for it. Little robots have a lot of small parts. I think I have them all. Alright, so we we'll start with the body. We attach the two legs. It does have a little Aaron shield. Have these rubber shoulder parts. Have the bars with clips that make up the arms slash hands. We have a single printed face. It's pretty cool. It's a big bushy eyebrow, a trimmed mustache, and a little goatee beard, and the robot face. So it's a robot that can grow hair. It does have the little Robin Hood style hat with a feather in it. And the last thing we're gonna do is add the bow and arrow. So that is our little hoodlum. All right, that bow and arrow is not going to stay on very well. Okay. So, the next thing is a little accessory piece. It's a tree of some sort. Let's start with this 4x4 four four plate. Add a panel, a stud, a box. Another panel, and this is going to get a sticker. So right away we're using one of the few stickers we have in this set. So it looks like some tree roots growing through this stone. With some sort of gauge or something on the side. Plate. So we get this curved reddish brown piece. It's going to get a leaf and a tile to hold on that leaf. That'll hold everything together there. Alright, so this is going to have a little catapult piece over here that you can fling stuff in the air. Don't shoot your eye out. You always put that little symbol there. Alright, 
So it looks like we're going to create a antenna of some sort. So we have this piece and this will attach. Don't make it very clear. Guess it goes right there like that. And we have our trans fluorescent orange pieces and these are what you can launch with the little catapult piece. I'm not going to launch them, but that's what they're for. I'm putting them right there on the bottom so they don't get lost. All right, move that to the side. Now we're going to build the, uh, what is it called? The Stone Warrior. So we'll start with an anti-tile plate. Have a bracket. Two of these mixel joint pieces. It's the toe ball end. Studs and another bracket. Let's see, two more of the toe ball mixel joint pieces. Another bracket here. by four plate across here. Doesn't seem like it's working right because it's not. I forgot a part. Alright, now we're good. Shows us putting that to the side for now. We have a little sub build to do. purple jagged rock piece, some studs, we have a little pyramid slope that has printed eyes on it, and that slope I think we saw in a Mighty Micro set, so it's not new, it's just kind of rare. That goes there. So that's like the body head combo piece. Turn this around. We have purple wings. through those holes on that little brick up there. Move that to the side. We have a couple arm leg pieces to make. So these are going to have slopes on them. We have the purple slope and then a trans light blue. And then we do a trans light blue purple. So just kind of alternating those colors. You can see how they're alternated. We'll do it again. We have a purple trans light blue and then a purple with a another trans light blue. This shows these two as the left leg and left upper arm. We're essentially going to repeat that build, just a mirrored version of it. The other two arm legs pieces. So we have purple.
light blue, purple. the leg or one of the feet we've already done the upper legs and upper arms now we have to do the lower legs and lower arm portions okay so this is one of the feet see it folds down like that let's do the other one now like that okay very blocky and rocky looking but that's the the style of this character Looks like he was made from rocks he is the stone warrior so stone is rock This is going to be one of the arm, lower arm pieces. Our stone wedge brick there. Then we have these purple little claw pieces. They're gonna act as the, the fingers of the hand. hand it's enormous about as big as his head and let's do the last one Got the technic brick that will go there we have our stone Wedge piece goes there. And this trans light blue rotary stud launcher. That goes there. And then the trans light blue studs will get loaded into it for the ammo. Careful when you rotate it because there is a little trigger piece and if you start to rotate it past the trigger studs will launch out there's our studs and the stud launcher pop that on the upper arm and there you go that is our stone warrior they do show all of these trans light blue studs as extras because you'll probably need them for your your little stud launcher piece. And we always get an extra one of the little mini tiles that's printed. That went on the robot. So that's pretty cool. I'll move all those extra pieces off to the side. Because now we're moving on to bag number two. Okay, we have all of our bag two parts dumped out. We have the next minifigure is Aaron so he's got his green outfit on put his shoulder armor on there he has his double printed face which is kind of the angry 
grin and then the big cheesy happy smile. It's the green helmet with the trans orange face mask. It's the trans fluorescent orange. And he's got the big Nexo shield. Nexo power. And he also has his extra Nexo power. Move that to the side. He has a weapon that we need to build. So it's this little crossbow looking launcher piece. Put the trigger in. They have these little, I don't know what they're called, mini sword pieces, mini blades. We have this little bar with a ball on it. That's what goes in the launcher. So when you push that, that shoots out. That's his crossbow. All right. So now we can start building the stone destroyer. So we finished one complete bag before we actually even start building the, the vehicle that's on the front cover and the vehicle that the, the set is named after. And of course I would drop a piece. Turn this over, four by four plate on there. Another four by four plate with a dark blue slope. A Technic brick. It's another dark slope. Uh, I don't know why I keep dropping stuff. Two more plates. This angled plate with a two by three tile on it. That will go just like that. Two more slopes. We have this axle. So it only goes in so far because it hits that black piece back there. So push it in like that. Two more of these thin lift arms. Put two of them back to back. Slide this all the way on there. And that, which will go here. Interesting. We have a little video game controller. It's gonna go right there. It's a printed tile. Two plates with clips on top. And then two rocker bricks. Then we'll put a rocker plate on top when they ask for it. We have this orange windscreen that we're going to put stickers on. So we have sticker number four. It's a weird angled 
windscreen and weird angled plates or stickers I mean so carefully do your best I feel like I'm putting it on crooked but nothing's hanging off the side so we'll have to do so it's kind of our heads up display and this piece will go right there all right so we have this pulley wheel with a little rubber tire on it and we are going to slide axle in kind of leave it sticking out a little bit on the end I'm going to put another one together like this there too so don't push it too tight on that technic piece or else it won't roll so if you give it a roll and it doesn't move you have it too tight and you have to pull it pull it apart a little bit to make sure that it's not pushed too tight all right more technic pieces friction pins in, slide this onto this stone looking wheel, An axle that will slide all the way through, kind of center it in there to where equal amount is sticking out of both sides, and this will go right there. And the next thing is we're going to cap it off with the same little Technic piece we made for the other side. Once again, check to make sure it still rolls. You haven't put it on too tight. All right. Now we have a, a two times build. It basically shows a small little set of instructions and you have to build two of them. So here's the first one. It's two jumper tiles. Like that, like that. Right there. This is the second one. So same thing, we got two jumper tiles and the green slotted slope. So these pop on each side like that. We have our rocker plates that we're put on now. We have these two engine pieces. This is like this really big, powerful, souped up motorbike looking piece. All right, move that to the side. We have another little sub build to do. A couple more of the mixel joint pieces. have our spring-loaded flick fire missile launcher brick pop on there have one for the other side this 
Genius will come right in here. So that's our little missile launcher piece. All right, we have this little panel with our last sticker. Kind of looks like a little blade. But that sticker will go right down the middle of this flat part of the panel. Pop that on there and fold it down. Another two of the same. Um, little build there. These will both connect to the sides. And these two pieces will connect like that. Then the last thing we've got is our spring loaded flick fire missiles. These obviously load into those launcher bricks. Ah. If I can push it in there. There we go. And it's good to go. So that completes the build of the stone destroyer. So our little play feature is when you See, when you roll it, that little rubber, these little rubber wheels are pushing against the transfluorescent orange blades, and it's uh, making them spin. So if it hits something, it'll destroy it. Um, this piece pops off, and it'll connect to the ultimate, or the uh, the battle suits. Not the ultimate characters, but the like the battle suit, Clay and Aaron and Macy. So all, the, all those battle suits that we built. Yeah, that completes the build of it. Let's move everything over. That little accessory piece. Obviously you have Aaron and the, the hoodlum. All right, so thanks for watching. Put a comment down below, tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And we will see you in the next one.